Hey you guys, it's your girl Candice, aka Carmen Michelle, back at you again with another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing rollers. Yes, roller, heat rollers. So stay tuned and holla at your girl. Stay with me, okay? Gotcha. Okay guys, so these are the products I'll be using. This is a heat roller set from Remington. Some, Those are the clips that I'll be using. That's the roller set. And just a regular brush, I call a weed brush. Okay guys, so I divided my hair with hair clips. I divided it into three sections and I took the back section down. I wanted to start with the back first. So I divided a little bit of the hair, just take little pieces, little sections. Um, as you see, I had a little bit of curl in my hair, but I'm trying to get it out for video purposes. But I have not really touched my hair. So this is the roller. That's a smaller roller. It comes with two different sizes in this set. So as you see, I'm rolling it up. Very simple. Just roll your hair up. Now, mind you, these are heat rollers, so they do have a bit of heat. It may be hot to you, but for the most part, it's pretty cool. So check it out. So I'm starting on the other side of my hair. As you see, I'm just rolling it up. Lost that one. Let's start again. But I wanted to show you better detail. You see, I'm just twisting it around the roller. Simple, and then roll it all the way up. You can roll it backwards. as That was, to me, backhanding. Or you can roll it frontwards. Either one. It's up to you. Clip it in there, and you're good to go. That's simple, guys. You could do it. Okay, so now I'll be starting on the front section of my hair. Um, in this section, I'm going to use bigger rollers. Check that roller out. Big Bubba. <laughs> but I'm going to be using bigger rollers. I'm still rolling the same way. I just want more volume. I don't want the curls so tight. I want those little rollers for the longer hair and the bigger rollers for the shorter hair. Again, you can roll in any direction. I'm basically just picking up and going. Any direction, any style, it's very simple. Anyone could do it. Again, I'm using a big roller and just wanted to give you a difference in the size. I told you it's a big difference, but you want to save those little rollers for your longer hair and big rollers for the shorter pieces of hair. Hey guys, so I wanted to point out to you real quick the direction that I'm taking my bang with this hair. When I'm rolling it, I'm pulling it more towards the opposite side of my head. Just because sometimes it seems to just flow better. You'll see when I take it all out what it looks like. But I just love how it looks when I pull it to the opposite direction and roll it up. So I'm on my last section of my hair. Everything else is all rolled up now just to get these last few pieces in. Again, it's the same tedious um, process. So just stick to the same process and it's that easy. You could do it, as I said.
Okay guys, so my hair is all rolled up and ready to go. So after this, I'm just gonna let my hair sit, do my makeup, slick these edges down, and then I'll take out the rollers. It should be ready by then, so stay tuned and stay by. Gotcha. Okay guys, so check out these rough edges. Yes, rough edges. Let's get these babies slicked down because they're looking a mess. So I'm going to use just, that's just a conditioner base that I made, olive oil edge control, and my little handy toothbrush. Now the base that I have that I'm spraying on my hair is just water and conditioner mix. I use it every time before I put my edge control on. Again, my edge control is by olive oil edge control. And then I just take my toothbrush and I take the edge control and just slick it down and it's that easy. I don't even have to tie my hair down or anything. I've tried many of um, con edge control products or whatever and I feel like olive oil has just worked the best. So that's my own personal opinion. I paid $14 for edge control. So to me this little $4.99 edge control works the best. So I'm just gonna slick my edges down and as you see my makeup's already done so after that I'll be taking out the rollers that easy. Now to take out the rollers. See that curl? It's a little loose. I actually kind of rushed it on the rollers. So next time I would suggest, ladies, when you want to wear these rollers, do your makeup. Maybe take a shower, especially that steam. It's really good for the rollers. Maybe take a shower or something. Just get busy. The best beauty thing about the rollers is having not to worry. So these are how the curls look before I touched it. Straight out of the rollers. And this is after. After I've combed my hair and styled it the way I want it to look. Again, it's not as tight as I would like it to be. So I might do another update video for you guys to see. But it's pretty good. It's good to go if I need to just hit the road. I mean, it will work. Hair could blow in the wind. Not too tight curls. Something different. So thank you for watching, everyone. Please stay tuned. Comment and subscribe. I'm back. Your girl, Carmen Michelle. Candace Otis. Get at me. Bye, guys.